Well, unless you've been away from the markets for the last week or so, odds are you've heard a thing or two about Tesla. This stock has gone straight parabolic, hit $1,000 a share, which most thought was impossible. In the last few days, just reached up to a high of $1,429 a share, giving it a market cap of a quarter of a trillion dollars. Now, before I talk about why this is happening, let me just show you how insane this is. Now, not that Tesla's not a great company, but this valuation is so rich that um, it, it, it's almost hard to rationalize. Right here, what you're looking at, the revenue of GM, Ford, Fiat, Chrysler, Honda, Daimler, and Ferrari, $730 billion. Tesla sales last year, $26 billion. However, the market cap, the value of the whole company, the, the share price times the total number of, out, of shares, Tesla is worth more than General Motors, Ford, Fiat, Chrysler, Honda, Daimler, and Ferrari combined. So the price is outrageous. How do we get there? Well, what we're seeing is the mother of all short squeezes. Take a look at this chart of Tesla's short interest to the shares held short, many people that are betting against this stock. And as you'll see, for the last year, it has been steadily declining. So you short the stock at 400, it gets to 500, to 800, to 1,000, to 1,200. Eventually, people are reaching their uncle point and to close out those shorts to buy the stock back. And that, along with the momentum traders, is fueling this stock higher. Now, this data comes from the NASDAQ site showing this the short interest on Tesla. Let me show you this uh this web page here, and you can check this out. They update it about every two weeks. I'm waiting on the July 1 number to come in, but if you look at it, just since April, there were 20 million shares short, and two months later, there's 15 million shares short. So already a quarter of the short interest has been covered. I bet when you see the July 1 number, they're going to shave another several million shares off that short interest, and until all those shorts cover, this stock could continue to push higher. Now, Wanted to give you also a quick update on a stock I recommended to you uh, a week ago, which was Solo. If you remember, I did this video here talking about Solo being in a textbook breakout pattern. This was on June 25th, and the stock was trading for $1.90 a share. Now, Solo up here at 4 bucks. Yesterday, it hit a high of $6 a share, so it's about a 300% move in just a week. Now, it's important we understand this trade, not as a bragging point, but you know what to look for in future breakout stocks. And what I talked about on June 25th was, we're down here at two bucks and watch the volume. Watch the volume when you see a high volume candle and it pushes above the $2.10 mark, that's a signal to break out buy. And that happened just a couple of days later here on June 29th as it pushed here and you would have triggered you long for a 100% gain over the next couple of days. You've got to watch the volume because that's where you're going to see these things coming. Take a look at the daily volume there in the top left corner of the chart. See this back here at April, 380,000 shares a day. 438, 370, that's 1,000, 378,000 shares traded a day. Well, then we got this little run up here. Look at it, 5 million, 2 million, 1.5 million, 4 million. The big candle here, 52 million shares. That was a big bump, right? Look what we got here, 45 million, 129 million, 175 million shares traded in one day. That's a stock that used to trade 160 300, 130, 400,000 shares a day. It's multiple, multiple times its average volume. So this is what you want to look for. That means the big institutional guys are coming in. It means the funds are coming in. That means the heavy hitters are buying the stock. And that's what drives prices higher. So a textbook breakout pattern. Hopefully you guys made a few bucks in that trade.